and here's a um, two day three day follow up after we refill the tank and um, see uh, what recovered or not as a reminder you see in the previous video where the tank got empty and these were wilted I thought I will lose some of the leaves uh, but uh, plants will not uh, will continue to make it so uh, I was right and wrong with some of the crops no issue with the basil mustard bok choy peppers uh, it's gonna continue uh, maybe some of these leaves are not gonna make it but the growing point is alive maybe not this one uh, tomato similarly uh, some of the leaves uh, you know did not make it you know like here you see the tip dried out but the back part is still alive so anyway that's still alive just ugly we can trim the old fruit eggplants are okay mustard green did not make it did not like it so mustard green must be very sensitive and the youngest plant here they were uh, spinach they also did not like the drought of course they were young uh, so they did not have an extensive root system or reserves in the roots and in the leaves to to recover so um, if this was a commercial operation or you want to sell anything that's showing any wilted leaves is garbage um, if, it's, if this is a homeowner you just uh, remove the dead leaves uh, maybe this one and uh, learn from your mistakes and uh, move on this is how they should look like oh i did not see the uh, cilantro so there must be here some cilantro that did not make it those over there are cilantro so those did not make it so cilantro mustard green <coughs> very sensitive to the drought did not make it uh, tomato pepper next um, some wilting but they are gonna come back with some damage eggplant is fine nothing at all no that no nothing at all maybe that's why it's popular in India and other countries where it came from uh, basil also a very drought that's why it comes from the Mediterranean it can tolerate uh, drought and uh, dry summers okay so live and learn learn from my mistakes so you don't have to repeat them